Tennessee on ESPN. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee for a rubber match in one of the most highly anticipated meetings of the SEC slate. It's number four, Tennessee, and number three, Georgia from Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. It was interesting though, Tony Baldwin, Georgia's head coach told us he felt like his team hit Pickens better than Tennessee's other pitcher they faced yesterday, Peyton Gottschall. But it's a strikeout of the first batter of the game. Yeah. Who led this program. Lineup has had a great series. Yeah. About three straight strikeouts to start the afternoon for Carlin Pickens. And also a surprise actually to see McKenna Gibson as the leadoff hitter today. Good job drawing that walk. From Duke to this Georgia program, and then you have Pickens, who a little bit younger. And gets a strikeout of Pooney, one down. That's a pitch down in the zone that Walters can. Two for the Lady Vols. Rips it off the glove of Walters, and everybody is safe as Gibson moves up to second base. Two gone in the first with the second strike out of the day for Shelby Walters. Just felt like with the. And a walk to load the bases for Destiny Rodriguez. Shelby Walters throwing a ton of pitches in this first inning. Pop up to short and Armistead puts it away and Walters gets out of a bases loaded two out jam scoreless through one in Knoxville. Pitchers who are playing collegiately at all divisions but that's how hard she throws with her velocity and then she gets you to chase at a drop ball like that that just falls off the team. It's a little bit uncomfortable at first but it's made her better. First contact in play today by Georgia, and it results in a ground out. And so the first five batters set down by Carlin Pickens. And to be able to attack hitters with their best stuff. Gets a strikeout on the off speed, sets down Kuma with her fifth strikeout of the game. And this is her changeup, right? More of a pitching coach, so you get to hear her talk about pitching. Let's see what Tim Walton. Fly ball to Kearney and Wright puts it away. Here's how Tony Baldwin sounded with a, so much energy. Oh, yeah. Julia Kutsoyanopoulos to short and a sling from the sidearm position. SEC game all year. Playing in center field in place of the injured Kiki Malloy. High hopper to Armistead and a quick throw to first. A one, two, three second hard contact against Pickens today. But the first base runner is aboard this afternoon for Georgia. A walk for Marissa Miller. An even that it might get by your catcher. One, two in the left field and down for a base hit. Davila heading to third. Tony Baldwin waving her around. And she'll have to stay put at third. Baldwin, the 2-2. Two -two. Goes down swinging a big time strikeout by Pickens, her sixth. Friday night in a pinch hit spot and delivers a fly ball to right field. It is caught by Panel and in to score from third is Hannah Davila. A one run lead for Georgia as Digby moves up to third. Jaden Fields made that look way easier than what it actually is. To get underneath a Pickens pitch down in the zone, that pitch is also inside. And her job in that at bat, another reason why she was put in this spot is to hit the ball to the outfield. Sacrifice fly for Jaden Fields to get Georgia on the board first. That's why those walks are so critical at any point of the year. Mosley to second, fielded by Rodriguez, and that ends the inning. But the Bulldogs strike first on a sack fly to right field. Run. Gibson to short. It is Armistead who has looked sharp at short this afternoon, one down. And she's covered a lot of ground in 
Shelby Walters got back into that two, three pitchers every game because that's just been how Georgia has rolled this season. Third strike out of the day for Shelby Walters and two down in the third. American at her time at Georgia. Payoff from Walters. Hard ground ball to second. Kuma easily fields. Seven straight retired for Shelby Walters. We'll 75. 0 2. Seven strikeouts for Pickens. Rolls it to second base. Rodriguez to first, two away. In the Georgia dugout. Slow roller back to Pickens, and the throw gets away. Chambly will move up to second, and now to third. And now she's going to be waved home, and the stop sign gets put up by Tony Baldwin. So a ball that went maybe five yards in front of home plate. Fastball kind of screws in. Kuma to third. Scooped up by Gibson, and that will end the inning. So Pickens pitches around an error. We will chat with Karen Weekly. Streak in the country at the time, snapped by Auburn last weekend. Nugent, a pop-up to shallow right. Kearney makes out number one. 3-2 to Miller is a strikeout on the outside corner. The fourth K of the day for just two earned runs. Slow roller to Kuma. And a 1-2-3 inning for Shelby Walters. The third in a row. Georgia leads by one after four in Knoxville. Won the women's division earlier this morning. High fly ball to right field by Marissa Miller. Caught by Taylor Panel one down. Carlin Pickens back. Jessica Mullins at Texas State. A few of the pitchers that have the best ERAs in the country and led their teams this season. Just nasty stuff. I mean, Jessica Mullins at Texas State oftentimes gets overlooked because she's not playing at a Power 5 school. But Flair in the center field. Back on it is Leach and a 1-2-3 inning for Carlin Pickens. 1-0 remains the score. Georgia on Backhanded it short by Armistead. And that was the other Leach. That's my bad. Gabby Leach to short. Who have earned positions this year happen to be all right-handed hitters. Flair to second. Kuma. Gloves, two gone. I mean, obviously, they couldn't all be 10. So Aubrey was 10, Kelsey 20, Alana 30, and Gabby 40. All multiples of 10. That's right. A flip to first and eight strikeouts this afternoon for the Tennessee Ace. Good night to short on a two hopper. Quick throw is not in time. Good night beats the throw from Laura Miller. Oh, rocket off the glove of Kutsoyanopoulos, and both runners are safe. That's the hardest hit ball of the day that we have seen off Carlin Pickens. Here we go. Kearney, diving play at short by Miller, and they'll get the lead runner at third. Dallas Goodnight, what a play by Laura Miller. Good one to pop up, foul territory left side. Miller tracking it. And as recorded, back-to-back -back outs for Tennessee. Two down. Nobody out to the Bulldogs. The one-two. Check swing, and she went around. Gottschall comes in and closes the door. With two on and two out. Just to the next of her. And the tenth pitch misses upstairs. Your first base runner for Tennessee since the first inning. And in a rhythm with that side of the plate. Pooney in the left, line right into the mid of Jada Goodwin, one down. Two Eastern 
And that championship game viewable on ABC. High fly ball to right field. At the wall, and it's off the glove of Jada Kearney. Riley West will slide into second base as she was sort of caught between first and second. Wonder that she'd be a good fit here at the program. Fly ball to right field. Back on it, Kearney at the wall and gone. Three run homer, Sophia Nugent. And Tennessee takes the lead. The adjustment on the outside corner has officially been made. That was even on a changeup, and Sophia Nugent is able to recognize it, still let that pitch get deep, and she stayed so in her legs and on that changeup, drove it opposite field. Shelby Walters took speed off, and Sophia Nugent still hit that out of the ballpark. That looked like it was a no-doubter off of her bat. 225 feet in distance and a swing that puts her new team on top by two. And we are going to see a pitching change for Georgia. Heck to lose or win. A walk to Miller. Well, to your point, Amanda, Walters went all day that we've seen her look vulnerable on a slow roller to third, Mosley to first, and Destiny Rodriguez is out. It's back as stands at second base. Panel, high hopper to Mosley. And that will do it in the sixth. So we head to the seventh. Kuma, Miller, Digby do up in Georgia's last chance. But she definitely brought a spark to this team. And a strikeout. Back to back for Peyton Gottschall, and one down in the seventh. Her third appearance of the weekend for Georgia today. Handcuffed, floating over Gottschall, drops, throw on the run is made. What a play at short by Laura Miller. She stepped up defensively. And the rubber match today did not disappoint. And the one-two rings up Digby on the outside corner. Gottschall closes the door on Georgia, and Tennessee takes the series two to one. Just a painful loss for Georgia, but a mega series win for Tennessee. Epic SEC softball matchup. Did not disappoint. The fifth straight SEC series win for the Lady Vols for 